Let's go blues. Let's go blues. What are you wearing? A Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> Who are you, Blues fans? We're bleeding blue with you. Let's go, Blues! Let's go, Blues! Let's go, Blues! Let's go, Blues! Let's go blues. say yes because we know you have it hello 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 it is a game day it is april 4th that's right april 4th we've got two weeks left into the season um maybe maybe with a little luck a little bit more um it's 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 a stretch guys and tonight is as big as they get you are facing off against the nashville predators um the last time you faced them they destroyed you and then went on a nine-game winning streak. Or it might be more than that. They just went ballistic. Now they're on a three-game losing streak. So you've got you've got a little bit of um you, you got some room here. You got some room to do something. You but you cannot lose. You cannot lose. You cannot lose. Let me repeat that. You cannot lose. You, the maximum you can get is 98 points. You need to get those 98 points. I still think 95 is the number, but 98 is just that much better, right? Um, I, I just don't feel like this team can lose. They've got a semi-favorable schedule, right? Uh, they have a semi-favorable schedule. Now, can't lose this. Can't win this one. In, you got to win this in regulation. You cannot give them a point. This is a team that you cannot give a point to. Got to win it. In the last 10 games, the Predators are 6-3-1. and one. They have lost three straight. The Blues are 7-2-1, and one, and they're 3-1-1 one one in their last five. Right? The Preds are 2-3-0. Oh. So that, that, that three-game losing streak has really affected them. Uh, let me get – I'm trying to get to this. I want to make sure I want to try and get some of my numbers right. So give me just a second. Okay. So you met them on February 17th. On February 17th, they beat you five to two. They embarrassed you. Right? Embarrassed you. Then they went on a one, counting that one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think, let me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight game winning streak. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18 game point streak. 18 game point streak. In those eight, games they got two points in 16 of them they went on a tear and you didn't now you got to go on a tear now they don't have as ah, they got a pretty favorable schedule too now that i look at it at first it didn't look that way they've got the islanders next um the islanders after us then the devils the jets blackhawks blue jackets penguins so they've only got two teams in the that are that are in the um playoff hunt now you get back to it. Let's go get the, the real numbers here. Um, Nashville is 43, 28, and 4 with 90 points. Blues are 40, 31, 4 with 84 points. When we played them, that was flipped. We were the six points ahead of them. Right? We are evened up in games played. At home, they are 21, 16, and 1. On the road, we are 17, 18, and 2. Got to even that up today. Hello, E. 
Hefner says, took the night off to see the show. Thank you, John. Shockey says, Preds have been on a slide. That is true. Uh, Blues in L.A. have the same opponents the last two weeks. Oh, that's important. That's important. Very important. I didn't realize that. That's what we thought about the Sharks. Well, you know what? The, the, the Sharks game... I just think the Sharks play a type of game that while most other teams in the NHL can beat it, we can't, right? They, they're they they're kind of a, uh, they're, most teams that play us come straight down the middle. The Sharks came down the sides. And because we focus on the middle, because that's where everybody comes, the Sharks got us on the sides. And, and, and you know what? We used to be really, really good on the sides. That's why everybody came down the middle. But everybody else is still coming down the middle for the most part. But if you notice, when the Blues get beat, some some of the, the times when the Blues get beat the most, it's when it's down the boards. It's down the boards. And and, and that's something that I hope the the new coach is is able to to address and take care of. Uh wow, a little bit of people watching me today. Aaron Culture, Iguido, Jim Brand, Jimmy, Jimmy. John Hepner and Gary Tuckett, welcome to the show. Um, I think it is Bennington against Soros. Bennington, 27-19-4, and 282 and a 913. It is a shame that he is not in the uh Vesna conversation. It is a shame because he has played well enough to be in the Vesna. Soros, 32, 23, and 4, 281 and a 907. Right? You, you look right there. That tells you. Soros is on the edge of, 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 of that conversation where Bennington is not. Bennington, I think, has played better. Not only that, think about this. If Bennington had the same, the, the, was, was 32, 23, and 4, he would not be 282 and 913. He'd be probably... Uh, 260, 252, and 920, 930. Think about that. Right? One week earlier. One freaking week earlier. And 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 we'd be in the play. We we'd be in the playoffs. We would be, we wouldn't be fighting for our lives. We'd be in the playoffs. One week, two weeks earlier. All right? Made that made you know made the decision over the over the over the uh, what do you call it over the summer that you know we needed to go a new direction. If they'd done that, think about where we'd be now. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Barubi was a great coach. He did something great. Where Barubi failed, and this is important, where Barubi failed in my eyes is he failed to adjust to the to what he had, right? Uh, you know, uh, and Lance, you're right. That's what the voters do, but that's not, that doesn't mean that that's what the, uh, that, that doesn't mean it's, it, it's, it's right. I, I'll tell you what, you look at it, at how, Bennington is the fact that Bennington is near the top or the top in high danger save percentage tells you everything you need to know. That tells you everything you need to know about Bennington is playing his numbers. Right? Hi, Yajina! My hockey wife. Man, her husband's going to beat the shit out of me now. <laughs> oh, Aaron, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, man? Um, Oh, I'm actually, you believe it or not, I'm in a little bit of a good mood. And, and it's weird because I shouldn't be. Uh, two weeks ago or, you know, something like that, I started doing lift full time, almost full time. And uh, he's in the shower. <laughs> yeah, he's still good. You're still going to tell him what I called you. So, <laughs> um, and, you know, no, I haven't been out amongst the the the, the creatures lately and, and i thought it was going to affect me negatively and it and it hasn't in 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 a, in a little bit it, it, i've been okay 
right? I've been okay. Um, I drove some this morning. Yeah, Nashville today, buddy. Danny, Danny Johnson, king of the, oh, what's he always say? Pound it, pound it in. Something like that. <laughs> I fucked that up. Um, now I'm lost. Kevin, buddy, buddy. So good to see you. I hope everything's good, Kevin. It really is, man. We love you and you won't get back. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, Man, I, I lost I lost my train of thought. It went, oh, driving the lift. Um, I drove some this morning. The the money wasn't great, but but it was okay. And I'm going to actually do graveyard tonight. I'm going to work for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to work. Um, I'm going to work from midnight or from midnight tonight, my time. Uh, hopefully something will come your way, buddy. Hopefully something will come your way. Glad you were able to take your mom to the game. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for going. It means a lot to me. I, I hope. I know it doesn't completely take care of what happened, but I hope it, it shows you how, how apologetic I am. That's all I want. And he pounds it in. Yeah. There we go. I, I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. The king of the, and he pounds it in. There we go. Danny, Danny Johnson, king of, and he pounds it in. There we go. Um, uh, Man, I am I'm 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 free. So I'm gonna work from midnight to eight. Oh, that's great, man. That's great. That, that that's great. That, that, that's just great, man. And, and I'm glad. Right? I hope so. Uh I'm gonna work midnight to eight in the morning, and then I'm gonna take I'm gonna come off before eight. Take a uh break a six hour break so i reset go back on work from 2 30 to about 7 30 then stop and then come back on about 10 30 and run until i hit a a, a dollar amount that i want to hit then i'll come home and so saturday's game my time i got i got i want to look at this i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to do saturday or sundays sunday's game i think i will do Sunday's game, I think I will do. It's at 2 o'clock. It comes after. Now, I might be a little late. I might not come on till the first period on Sunday. But Saturday's game against the Sharks, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do. All right? Oh, you are right, bud. You are right. Um, I hope so, man. Yeah, opening day. Uh, today was opening day in, in uh, Bush Stadium. The, the Clydesdales got it going. The Red Jackets were there. Uh, unfortunately, I, I took a nap this morning because um, I worked worked a little early this morning, so needed to to rest my my vocal cords for today. But we'll see. Um, Sister JJ is here. Oh wow! Some people are actually showing up. I don't I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say that people are actually showing up to watch the show. Oh wow! That that's a, a a a new thing. Um, thank you, thank you, each and every one of you for being here and watching watching the Blue Note Fan Report. We're gonna do our best to 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 let you know what's going on. Uh, oh, uh, Kerber's off this week, so you got J.K. on the on the. Uh, broadcast and Annie Zellick's going to call the weekend games uh haven't seen the um looking for the lineup seeing seeing what we got here in the lineups I'm trying to find it here real quick here we go Here's the lineup. Bennington leads them out for pregame warm-up, so it is Bennington. Uh, Thomas is going to have sod and neighbors. Do not like that line at all. Bushnevich with Cairo and Torpachinko. Kind of like that line. Shen with Kaepernick and Bolduc. 
Okay, Walker with Blaze and Hayes. I'm not sure I like that. I, I like our forward lineups at all. Um, Letty with Pareko, Krug with Falk, Tucker with Kessel. That's going to be an interesting third pairing. Let's see how much time they get. That's going to be important. And then Bennington in the net. Not sure. Uh, haven't seen Nashville yet. Uh, let's see here. One of my guides is going to post that. Here's, oh, here we go. Thank you, Matthew DeFranks. Uh, O'Reilly with Nyquist and Forsberg. Sessions with Bellevue. I can't pronounce And Zucker. God, I can't pronounce 90% of the names on them. Uh, Novak with Evangelistica and Jawan Janikowski. McCarron with Sherwood and Smith. I don't even know half those guys. <laughs> uh, Jose. So Josie and McDowell. Uh, Luzon, Carrier, Stastny, and Shin. Oh, Braden's brother's in town. Uh, and then Saros and Net. Uh, what I thought. Ooh, wee. Dad got something right for a change. Uh, need your comments tonight. Make sure you guys are commenting tonight. Help me out. I, 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 you know, even when you're watching the game, something happens or you see something. Or you're listening and I say something that you like, you know, say something to me. Let me know that that I'm not alone in this tonight. I, I, I really want your comments today. I want to break a record for how many comments you guys show up with. Right? That, that's what I want tonight. I want to break the record of comments. Comment, 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 comment and then comment some more. So, so that's what I'm asking for. You guys to go out and, and just rock it. Rock it, rock it, rock it, man. Help me out. Get, get me the, the, the numbers that I need and, and, and all of that. And, and let's see what we can do for the show today. Okay? Is that a yes? Is that a no? Is that a maybe? I hope so. I, I, I want to see you. I absolutely want to see you. I want to see you on the show. I want to see you on the show. So yeah, come on, guys. Get, give it to me. Give it to me what you say now. Give it to me what you say. Give it to me what you say now. Give it to me what you say. I'm looking to see what I can do for all of you. Looking to see what I can do for all of you. Oh, my goodness. Try something here. I was looking for something and couldn't find it. Um, I'm an idiot. Oh, where am I at? What am I looking for here? I can never find I put something in a draft and I can never find it. So bad with that. There we go. 
go. Okay, I'm back, I think. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, Danny, I, I'm behind in comments. Ooh, baby, let's hope the Blues pound Nashville before the card uh, tonight. Uh, the cards won on opening day. Yes, they did. I think I got that. Um, I'll slam you as often as I can. Thank you. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, sister. Um, timed all out. Boy, I agree. Uh, Michael Edward, when can you deliver toasted ravs in Illinois? Well, when I'm in, talk, I wish I could have them here. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Way to go, Shakamendo. Ah, uh, Vegas? I don't think so, but I can double check. Uh, the night. No, the Knights do not play tonight. The Kings do. Kings are taking on the Sharks. So let's hope the Sharks take a bite out of the Kings. Flames playing the Jets. Avalanche playing the Wild. Central Division getting busy. Uh, Bruins are up three to nothing on the Hurricanes. Um, Blue Jackets and Islanders are tied. Lightning are up two to one over the Canadians. Panthers two to nothing on the Senators. Uh, Penguins two to nothing over the Caps. And all the most of those games are right around the end of the first. Uh, nothing else has started yet. There we go. Uh, who will score first goal tonight? I got Walker. Okay, you guys tell me who's going to score the first goal. I seen a Walker. I seen a Neighbors. Uh, got another neighbors. No pregame. It's on ESPN Plus. That is true. I am your pregame. Hi, Wendy. The Slinger Dog. Do oh my goodness! Wow. I I saw. I'm a hot dog aficionado, and that wow. St. Louis is needed. Needed. A, a a hot dog i mean we got we we needed a stadium type dog and and, and guys wow i'm telling you man um this uh you know i i i'm hoping to be in st louis in september i got to have one man i absolutely got to have one look at this guys look at this look at that oh my goodness the Slinger Dog. Wow. I don't even know everything that's on it. I know it's got two, two, um, I guess you could call them poached type eggs, right? Uh, ketchup, mustard. I don't know what else. Oh, man. That, oh, and that's a, that's a flame grilled dog, too. I don't know if it's flame grilled. It may not be flame grilled, but, um, wow. I, I need one of those. He says the sharks are in full tank mode. It's going to be hard to lose. Well, the Blues do a good job of it. They've lost twice already. So, and we play them again on Saturday. So, yeah. <laughs> neighbors. Neighbors for the first goal. Jake Neighbors. Uh, All-State boy. Neighbors. Wendy's just not a fan of anything St. Louis. So, we know that. Didn't we have the Nachos Burger? We might have. I, I don't know if that was... If I consider that, like, yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Man, it, I, I, for me, I need it. I got to have it. I got to have it. taco meat. It's got taco meat in it. Oh, yeah. I got to have that. That, that, someone, someone knew what they were doing. And and I've heard a couple people say, you need a bib with it. I feel, someone said, the guy that I stole this picture off said, uh, and I did steal this picture, and I didn't credit him, so. um. We've lost two games of the three to the Sharks. So, yes, we've lost the season series to the Sharks. Yep, we have. We, we, we've given them four points. Haven't lost the season series to the Blackhawks, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I actually think there might be 23 people watching me today. I think the numbers... Might be like dead on. I think I think they fixed the the issue with the numbers and 
Um, it's it's not a collumative total anymore. They have well, I think it's because of the way they play. I think that most teams attack the Blues down the center, and and, and the Blues are ready for that. So that's what they try and, and and defend. And the Sharks, and you notice the Sharks come down the sides, and I think that that has an effect on us. I think that has an effect on us. All right. Are we, um, I got to check. I think, I don't remember if we're, if we've lost both games to Nashville. I think we have. I think we have. I got to find it here in a second. Yes, we, we got beat eight to three and five to two. We have given them, we have given them four points. We need to steal two tonight. We need to steal two tonight. We need to outplay them tonight like we've never outplayed them before. Got to outplay them. I don't know. I thought we beat the Jets. I, I thought I thought we beat. I thought we played well against the Jets. I actually thought we beat the Jets. I'd have to go, like, pull up numbers. I don't. I don't know. I'd have to get down to the Blues numbers. It's kind of hidden. I got to get past a whole bunch of stuff here. Give me a second. I, I, I'm I like under the impression that with the Jets, let's see, Jets, we lost uh, five to two to them. Okay. There's one. Uh, making sure I don't miss anything. I can't search it, so I'm looking at a, at a document here. I, I get the... Uh, We only played the Jets once? No, that's not right. No, okay, so we have lost twice to the Jets. We should no, we should have played we should have played them three times. All right? We should have played the Jets three times. They're in our division. So I gotta be missing something here. Gotta be missing something. Here's the first loss. That was November. Jets, 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 Jets. J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Do it this way. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I did miss one. So, oh, lost, lost. Oh, we lost all three to them, I think. We lost uh, four to two. We lost five to two. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, yep. And then... We lost four to two. Oh wow! Yeah, dum dum, give me gum gum. Uh, looks like the Coyotes are potentially looking to sell the team to either local or out of state buyer. Uh, this broke about two hours ago. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Um, should be able to. Let me see something now. I I I've been waiting for the 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 game to pop on. Should be popping on now. And you shouldn't be able to hear it when it comes on. Uh, we have not beaten Nashville. No, we have not. And we have not beaten the Jets either. Oh, guys cheerleading for the Jets. <laughs> it's hockey night on Hulu and ESPN+. Plus. It's Ian Plus Plucky Night. Here we go, man. It, it is time. Uh, I, I, yeah, Fabry's gone. If if, if Barubi's coaching Fabry, Fabry's gone. Um, God, if he go, if if he goes there, let's see how quick Peron go tell Alphas. Right. Let's see how quick Perron, because I think Perron's in the last year of his deal, or next to it. I, I want to see how quick Perron Hotel Alpha is out of there. Right. And, and, and yeah, I, I, I saw that. I saw what Lance put up, and I love Lance, but I do take some with a grain of salt. And, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I hope he's right. I, I mean, great for Barubi, but. Uh, I don't see 
That's the wrong team for him. That's the wrong. Well, I guess not. Veteran team. I think that Barubi needs to go coach. Uh, you don't see Z see Steve Zeiserman hiring him. I, I, I'm kind of with you on that. Yep, Danny, I, I found it. Uh, no, absolutely not. You know what? I, I said this, and I don't. I, I know nobody believes me. He fucked St. Louis over. He he lied. He 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 he's not coming back. He told he told he told the fans of St. Louis a lie, and and, and they ate it up. But he's not coming back. Yeah, WWF. Yeah. All right. Ah. Uh. Monday's game was really good. They they played a really good game. And, and that Saad, Saad being Johnny on the spot there, that was a great play for him all the way around. Right? To see that puck, to have that puck pop out. And I forget who it was with him that popped that puck out uh, along the boards. But Saad, Johnny on the spot. And, and, you know, that's what Saad needed to be. Saad has not been my favorite player of all season. And he's at 25 goals. That's like, I, I feel like I'm... Uh, with with Saad, I feel like I'm um uh oh what do you call it? Cause I I I, I sit there and I talk about uh Kairu and I, I use Kairu's number and say, look, you're you're mad at him but he's here. I'm mad at Saad and he's at the same spot. I, I you know, a little bit of uh taste of my own medicine there. Getting a taste of my own medicine on that one. Right? Uh, oh, actually, there might be 23 people watching me today. Holy cow. Holy shockamundos. I'll take that. John Penner, Jason Nickel, Marion Lesnar, Michael Edwards, Joe Butler, Gina McMahon, Aaron Coltier, E. Guido, John Hepner, and Gary Tackett, along with Jim Brand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Getting ready for the game start. Probably got about three or four minutes before puck drop. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, L.A. is playing tonight. L.A. plays the Sharks. We need that. We made this a double win day for St. Louis sports. All right. Ka-chunk. Uh, at least we own the wild. Yeah, you could say that. No, it's it's on. I I well, I mean, I the the game hasn't started. I mean, usually when when the, these games start about the fifteen minute mark, um, depending on you know because there since there's no pregame, you know the ESPN comes on does a little bit of a pregame, not a full full on pregame like we're used to. But they do one, right? I don't know who's in, bud. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready.
Five minutes to go, something like that. The cool, cool locker room they got there. I kind of like that locker room. All right. We're only six points back of the Preds. Both got seven games remaining. Kings got seven games remaining. Uh, Wild got eight, but we're, they're outside of the margin. The Wild are done. That that giving up the loser point hurt them. Time to tame the Preds. I agree. I do agree. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, I, I there's a lot of people that believe that. There's a lot of people that believe that, and that's fine. You're more than welcome to that opinion, bud. I don't think you have that opinion, but if you got it, you're more than welcome to it, and you're more than welcome to watch the show. I know Jeremy, so. Right. I, I, I don't think, I, I honestly don't think Jeremy thinks of me that way. I don't. I think he's, he's. Uh, oh, okay. My bad. We're five back. I, I screwed that up. My bad. Quick, quick, done. No, I, I think Jeremy is making, uh, he's probably in a group that has blocked me and, and talked bad about me and things like that and, and said that I'm an idiot and stuff like that. So, but I, I, don't, I don't think Jeremy is that person. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. And I was trying to play off it, but I didn't want you to be upset, bud. Because I, I didn't want to lose. I, I didn't want you to be upset thinking that I think you're one of those people. I, and I know you're not. Right. Uh, last time I was home. Um, last time I was home, me, Jeremy, and a couple others, um, we, we went to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I forget where it is. Out in Brentwood, I think, or Maplewood or something like that. And, and, and we uh, might have been Maplewood. Brentwood? Brentwood. But we went out and, and we we sat and talked hockey for a while, for a while, right? So I, I don't think Jeremy thinks that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, I think he's just, you know, I think he's probably one of the guys in those groups that is supporting me. That And the more he supports me, the more I'll get kicked out. Well, it looks like we're just about to puck drop. Got to support him there this year. He needs to get that first uh, donut on the road this season. Needs a donut on the road. Thank you, Jeremy. I greatly appreciate it. Puck drop. There we go. That is true. We talked about that. Uh, I don't know if Vegas is getting hot, are they? Oh, a little bit. If you're just desperation. God, I hate ESPN when it comes to St. Louis sports. They give us... God, I remember the year that the Cardinals won the... the I, I remember when the Cardinals won the um, World Series... They, they never got team of the year. Ouch! We're, oh, this sucks. Oh, my goodness. What the fuck was that? We're in trouble already. Holy fuck. 31 seconds in. Holy crap. Not what you wanted. Ouch. Wow. Nope, didn't take long. Make a mistake, it ends up in the back of the net. You can't do that. Oh, 
Oh, Kyra, a nice little backhander there. Fortunately, no one there for the rebound because that would have been a good one. Oh, it's because they play a defensive game instead of what they need to be playing, an offensive game. That's what a lot of those numbers come from, that damn defensive game. I jinxed it. I said he needed a goose egg. I jinxed it. I screwed it up. Ah, uh, Hayes blew that. Oh, nice steal there, Pareko. I can hear the Nashville what? Charts? I think it means chance. Look how empty look how empty that arena is. Side can't hold to keep the stick on his puck or the puck on his stick. These lines aren't working. I'm telling you that right now. These lines are not working. They need to change them up quick. Oh, got it. We're, we're going on the power play. What are you doing? Why are you keeping the thing on? Wow, the camera guy wasn't even looking on the puck. What the hell was that? They're keeping the puck on Letty for some reason. What the hell is that? There's not, there, there, it, it looks like it's kind of empty. <laughs> Squirrel.
Well, now we got to make the power play work. Oh, that was an absolute hook. You know, <laughs> the guys, they try and telegraph it by going, oh, I didn't hook him. I tell them you hook him. Keep it down there. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> ah. Had another opportunity. 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 <laughs> If someone goes to a Cardinals game and you get this and and you get that, cut it open or something. Let me see like the whole thing. Let me know what the whole thing's made of, man. I, I got to know. That thing just looks so damn good. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, we're not. I mean, we, we had some action down there, but we're not keeping it sustained. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I remember that. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that, but that's good to know. Oh, man. Torp couldn't get over there. Ah, oh, Torp chopped at it. Torp staying right there. I like that. Oh, nice, Shin. Got to win this face off. AC Generators at the game. He told me he was going.
Uh, uh, where are we at here? You guys paying attention to me? Probably not. James back. I'm trying to work on something here real quick. There we go. Sad man. Oh, better not. I I didn't see it. I don't think that that. No, they're not challenging it. save one one big save yeah I, I've heard that too 
I see you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not supporting O'Reilly tonight. Supporting the Blues. Oh, that's a good one, bud. That's a good one. Go, go, go. Nope, everybody had neighbors, and I didn't pick anybody. You are correct there, Mr. Johnson. Great pass by Saros there. Let's go, Blues! That's right. You did. Yes, Eliza, I was just looking at something else. Big say, Bennington on. Bennington's on. That was Saj, 26 of the seasons. Thomas is 52nd assist. I could see Thomas being our next 100-point player. I really can. Saad found his game late. That is true. Saad has found his game late. Very, very true. Matt Park! Thank you. Erickson Krieger, thank you. Uh, just drop the puck after the icing call. Offsides. Ugh. Commercial break. The five guys that gave up the goal got it back. Thomas Letty, Saad, Pareko, and Neighbors. They gave up the first one. They got it back with the set. With the, they got it, and then they got it back. Way to go! Actually, the same twelve players that were on ice for the first goal were on ice for the second goal. The exact same. Kind of <laughs> neat to look at it on the score sheet. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. I can't do it. I can't do a fluffy. I wish I could. He can get his voice way up there. 
Oh my God, yes! Oh, I can't do it, man. Can't do it. Can't do it. Blue's keeping it in, trying to get a, a little bit of a cycle going. I like seeing Torpachinko get more ice time. I really, really do. No, they have 90. We have 84. That's six points. It is six. I was right about that. Looks like uh might be a broken stick. He dropped it and tore for the bench, so more than likely a broken stick. No, it's it's 90. I thought I was right. I, I thought I was right. Yeah, they have 90 points. 43, 28, and 4. Oh, come on, somebody put that puck in the net. Oh, Pareko, you got to bury that. Oh, nobody knew where the puck was. It is sitting there, and we can't bury it. Oh, that sucks. Got to bury them. Chances. Come on, guys. Let's bury the puck. Put the biscuit in the basket. And it's saved. Oh, Hayes tried to flip it in there. It just caught Sorrows. Just caught Sorrows. There you go, Shakamundo. See? Uh oh. Bury the puck. <laughs> I hate this. Hate Spectrum commercial. Like, people are going to be in a classroom about Spectrum. 
Maybe if you're working there, you would be in there, but this is like college students, so they're making like a college course. Oh, I hate it. Oh, what's the other one I saw? One a cellular phone commercial. Like someone's given a uh like at a, a a lecture, you know, and all these people are coming to hear this lecture. Who the fuck would go to a lecture about cell phones? Who? I wouldn't. I mean, that lecture would be, it would be crickets. This is what you would hear at a lecture about cell phones. You ready? Here you go. That is what you would hear at a lecture about cell phones. I don't know how they get away with these commercials, right? I think that, I believe that commercials should have some truth to them. Oh, O'Reilly in the box. We're going back to, uh, no, four on four. They both got slashing. Come on, ESPN. Figure it out. Look at this damn score sheet. I'm looking at it. Why can't you? Oh, what's going on? What What is with this? The pucks not be the pass is just they're so off. Oh man, this we look discombobulated right now. All right, not. There we go. Oh, nice, Kairu. Nice. There's a 50 50 puck that people say he can't win. That was absolutely all the Cairo, and, and he's doing what all the Cairo haters say he doesn't do. Yeah, they're not going to see that. Cairo lost the puck again. Cairo can't win a battle. Cairo gets paid too much. <laughs> he gets paid so much, and he doesn't do enough. I'm so mad. I'm so jealous. So I ain't going to say how bad he is. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, just doesn't get it in there. 43 more seconds of four on four, Hawkeye. Base, I'm not sure what you're going there, Danny. Oh, we didn't talk. We'll, we'll talk about that. We got something to talk about at the intermission. I didn't talk about it pregame. We'll talk about it at the intermission. Be ready for the intermission. Got something to talk about. Oh, man. Kyrou just missed. Just missed. <laughs> think you're a little behind there bud yeah me too
Here we go, one on one. Oh, Saad fired that way too early. Oh, it's a sling thing. Okay. Well, back to five on five. Hakai. Hakamundo. It's a sundo. Oh, man, two big chances there. Just missed. Oh, slow texting. Okay. <laughs> That's right. You're driving. I forgot. My bad. Oh, so I tipped it down. Bach was just too late. Oh, Saad, you get him, Saad. Yeah, we are doing well on the dot. I think uh, they, they've been saying that on ESPN. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. On the dot, we are 11 and 9, 55%, 45%. Holy Christ, no, I didn't. Wow, I didn't realize that. 20 shot? That's like our game totals. Wow, no. Totally didn't see that. Holy kamunkas. Holy smokes. What the? What the? It's the, oh, the Kings are who have 89 points. I was talking about the Preds having 90. My bad. I think that's where you and me got got crossed there, Shakamundo. No, oh, he is a top five goalie. I I absolutely believe that, and I've said that for a while. Come on, Bush. God, their attempts, they've got 20 on net. Oh, this, this guy, I, you guys, I, you're going to enjoy that when, when the first comes around in two minutes and we get to go there, you're going to enjoy these numbers, man. Really enjoy these numbers. These are the numbers we've needed most of the season. Even though the scoreboard doesn't reflect it, it will. Uh, good defense on the puck tonight. Other than that first shot. Yeah. Other than that first shot. Holy Christ. Has this been. Oh my goodness. Sorrows has been playing well. Oh. Neighbors hit the post on an empty net. Ouch. Oh, that was offsides. And now it doesn't matter. Good stick there, Letty. 13 seconds to go in the first. Wow. There's the buzzer. What a first period is correct. 
Shots, 20 to 10. We doubled him up. Neighbors, oh, if he could have got that down. Oh, he hit the post straight up. Come on, darkness, don't be so negative already. They're playing. We're playing what they need to play. Soros is playing out of his mind, too. But if you keep doing this, you're going to get ahead of them. Right? That That's the thing. Now, if you want to find negativity, you're going to find negativity. I'm trying to find positivity. The fact that we are out shooting them 20 to 10. Now, let's look at this. Nashville has 21 attempts, 10 shots. So they have 11 of their attempts, more, more than 50%, that have missed the net. The Blues have 34 attempts. 20 of them have been on net. So they're, they're hitting the net 60, almost 70% of the time. 60% of the time. Where Nashville is hitting the net 46% of the time. I will take that all night long. Okay, it wasn't empty, but it was wide open. Wide open, right? When when you have, uh, out of 34 attempts, only 14 have missed the net, that, that is, you, you're, you're, you're up in the high 50s, low 60s. You're at 58.8%. So 59% of your shots are on net. Normally, it's way under. For the Blues, it's normally in the 30s. This is a positive that if you keep doing it, it's going to net you goals. Right? It's going to net you goals. That's what you have to look for. Right? Uh, sorry, darkness, man. Uh... I, I got to do something here real quick. Da, da, da. Okay, here we go. Now I can. Hits! 11 for St. Louis, 7 for Nashville. St. Louis has two giveaways. Nashville has six. St. Louis has two with takeaways. Nashville has none. Block shot, St. Louis five. Nashville seven. Face-offs, 12 to nine. 57% to 43% in favor of St. Louis. This game... The only difference in this game is a is a at the 31 second mark, Yossi just fired a perfect shot after a mistake. Ah, uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. I, you know what I tell him? Don't change a thing. Don't change a thing. Uh, if if you're a uh, if you're a uh. Oh, what do you call it? A Ted Ted Lasso fan in season three when Isaac gets uh, kicked out of a game for going after a fan. Coach Beard, we're down a man. What are we going to do? What are we going to change? And everyone says, not a damn thing. That's it. You don't change anything. You, you're doing exactly. You don't need to change anything. You keep playing your game. Right? You'll see this perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Right? Two on one. Letty kind of went down early. But other than that, it was just a perfect shot. Just a perfect shot. Other than that, everything else has been blues, right? So you only got one goal and 20 shots. Keep firing it because they're going to go in. And not only that, you're playing. Look at what you're doing. You're preventing them from being in your zone. I, I wish offensive zone time for the blues is, is going to be almost double. 
I, I wish there was a way to see that. Right? I, I wish I, I wish I had a, 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 a way to see that stat because for the Blues, it's going to be double. Let me see something here. Um, yeah, no. The play, I don't think the play by play shows it. No. No, 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 no. Right? Not really, I haven't been. Nope. Oh, the Frozen Four. Yeah, somewhat. Oh, that's what we need to talk about. We'll talk about it here in a second. Thank you for reminding. Oops. Um, if it wasn't for their goalie, we would be leading. Usually, uh, they are saying it, saying that about us in the first. I, I think so too, right? I, I, I think so too. I think that we, we, we'd be up three to nothing, right? Three to one. That, that's what I think we'd be up. Uh, let's talk. Uh-oh, happening again. Hopefully it doesn't happen too much. Let's talk about Schnugard. Now, I when, when Minnesota lost, I know, now, if you know me, you know how I think. And when Minnesota lost, the way they lost, there was something inside me that felt like he's going back. That that That's not the way... That's not the way you want to end your college career, right? That, that you, if you still have the chance. And not only that, there's some question marks on the Blues right now, right? Maybe next year isn't the best year for him to be a rookie, right? That's another thing. And, and he weighed this decision heavily. He weighed this decision heavily. He said it, right? He, he weighed it to set, uh, heavily. Um, I got to be honest. Not surprised. I'm not surprised. I wanted to say it on the show, but it's when all that bullshit was happening about me not knowing shit about hockey and all of that. And I just had to take, I just felt like he's going back. And when he announced it, it did not surprise me at all. We, we don't, come on guys. You know, let's not, let, let's keep the, you know, what, what someone's sex is. Gender doesn't matter. So let's just not go there with stuff like that, John. I, I don't need that, man. That's just doesn't feel comfortable for me, right? I, I'm an ugly motherfucker as it is. So I don't need someone else, you know, harping on, on, on that. So just please don't. That, that, that's my, my I, I, I'm request. Um, I, I am not surprised that he stayed, that he, that he went back. I, I and I think it might be, to be honest, the Blues are kind of, depending on what happens this year, depending on what happens this year. Oh, I see it now. Now I see it. But it, it, it just doesn't need to be said, right? Um, Because it feels misogynistic, and, and we don't need that. I, I have a lot of females that watch the show, and we don't need that misogynistic view. And, and I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying that's what it seems it feels like. Uh, Gary Tuckett, John Hefner, thank you. Oh, I guess it's, it, it shifted the name, so I don't know who it is now. Uh, next year, Frozen Four in St. Louis. Him winning it in St. Louis and his future home would be a way to end. Yeah, absolutely it would. Absolutely. Right? And, and he said he struggled the, the, the last half of the season. Last 13 games, he only had like three points. And, you know, he didn't feel like he did enough. So... I, I think him waiting a year to come out, we could have our second Rookie of the Year candidate. I really do. And not only that, Dvorsky, you could have two solid rookies battling for Rookie of the Year. If you put Dvorsky and, 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 and him on a line together, I think you could have two rookies battling for Rookie of the Year. I, I really do. Right. Dun, 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 dun. What do you guys think? You think I'm right? Think I'm wrong? 
Because I, I, I'm pretty sure Dvorsky is going to go to the minors next year. And, and, and he will spend, if, if I'm St. Louis, I let him, I don't bring him up unless he's blowing him away. You know, unless he's leading the league in goals and assists and points and, you know, just blowing it away. I, I leave him there. Right. Um, and, and then if you need to bring him up, bring him up late. But this team to me from last year, the regression of last year to this year, right? This, this is, this is, this is good. I mean, this is a positive this year, right? When, 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 with everybody that got traded, Everybody that didn't get re-signed or for whatever reason got let go or traded or went elsewhere. That there are things here that I think really uh this is a positive season. Even if they miss the playoffs, it's a positive season. I think it's a positive season. Right? I really do. I, you know, I got, I wonder something. I don't think the players would ever go for it, but what if, what if, right? Um, instead of, especially with the 32 team league, right? You had, you played out the season in the playoffs for positioning right and you played it all the way out through throughout the two months to where everyone played i mean it would take away you you would make sure that certain games are but yeah it wouldn't work but if you played it all the way out for positioning thank you e i appreciate that It is, and, and and you look at what's coming behind, and we're not losing much. You know, really, in all actuality, what are we losing? Kaepernick? Okay. Blaze? Okay. Um, Varna? They they cut bait with him a while ago, right? If a team wanted Varna, they could have gotten him for nothing. If a team wanted Varna, they could have gotten him from the minors for future considerations. Just gotten him. They didn't want him. Right? Uh we're we're really we're not losing. I, I, we're, we're losing what four players, maybe? We're losing uh, on this team, we're losing Kaepernick. We're losing Blaze. Who else? I think is that it? Oh, say Gandela. We'll lose three players. I I think there's one more. Am I missing somebody, Lance? I can't think of the other person, but I think it's four. Um, Hello, okay. Marilyn. Trying to get there. Hey, you know what? That was yeah. a great first period. And you know what I love? Incredible first period. Yeah, I loved twice during that period. The unbiased out-of-town announcers talked about how great Cairo looked in that first period. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that. Right? <laughs> that and then Bennington, Bennington playing as a, a top five. Right? Yeah. Yep. So we have, so, so here it is. There's one more that I can see not being here next year. That is an RFA. I don't see us signing him. Right. Is Alexandrov at 23. He's an RFA. I don't see us signing him. Uh, Prunovich possibly will not be here next year. Now he's an the, RFA. The, he qualified. He qualified. Yeah. He's arbitration eligible. Yeah. The only way that, that Alexandrov stays yeah. is if they give him a, a, a two way contract. Right. And he's mostly there for AHL depth. That's the only way he yeah, said. That's I, I, I'm with you. So the three that we're losing are uh, Kaepernick, Blaze, and Scandella. And then you can add Varna into that. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I don't know if I don't know if you know it or a lot of people know it. The Blues were offered a fifth round pick for Scandella before the trade deadline, and Armstrong said no. I would have. I would have said no for that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, fifth round pick. I mean, yeah, you could find a diamond in the rough, but what are the chances of that? Yeah, no, I, 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 to me, no. You, you, you give up. 
fifth, sixth, seventh round picks. You don't collect them. That's right. So, so I'm okay with that. Right. And we've got, I, I mean, right now I, I'm looking at next year's draft. We are looking really good for next year's draft. We have eight picks next year. We have a first round, two second rounds, two third rounds, and two seventh rounds, along with a fourth and fifth. The only thing we don't have is a six round pick. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely that God, th- there's enough picks there that you could wrap something up and move up in the draft. If you want. Yeah. To. yeah. I don't know if you're like me, but I've always thought if you want to sustain a winning team, you build through your draft and you add veteran pieces. Yeah, I, I agree. Hey, Robert. Yes, we missed you a lot, buddy. I, I Where put you been, on Bobby? Facebook today. Where's he um, been? He, I'm sure he, he, he's been busy with his boys, man. He's got he's got the next Cardinal center fielder out there, in in Jackson, and then I think <laughs> uh, Alex is going to be. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what position Alex plays, but maybe Alex will be the next uh, Blues forward, right? Yeah, those like those boys have grown up so much. Remember when they oh, did your yeah. let's? You remember when those boys did the let's go blues? Man, they look so much older now. Oh, I know. It's it's not even funny. Not even funny. And, and you know, they call me they call me Uncle Guy. So. Who are you, Blues fan? We're bleeding blue with you. Let's go blues. Let's go blues. Let's go blues. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They, they they have man. We we miss them, man. We miss him. Uh, hopefully, when I'm home in September, I'll, I'll get another thing for him. I'd like the Blues sign a veteran forward on a one or two year. But okay, if you're signing someone on a one or two year deal, here's the problem with that darkness. And I get where you're at, okay? But here's the problem with that: you're signing a guy like, say, Cotier, Cotier from San Jose. You're signing a Blaze. You're signing a, a Sunquist. You're, you're you're not signing someone. You're, you're, you're signing depth. You're not signing someone that's coming in to help the team. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I, if they could get Logan from San Jose um, on, 30, a, on a – At 38? Uh, yeah, but if you could get him on a cheap one-year contract – He and was put hurt in, all year this year. I think his career – if if he decides – if someone gets him, you're taking a chance on him playing less yeah, you than are. 10 games. Yeah, you are. Right? So, so, trust me, he was on my fantasy team. He hurt me all year. I'll tell you who I'd like to get. And you guys are going to beat the shit out of me for this. There is a player that I think is available that you can get semi-cheap that would do really well on this team next year. I'll give a hint. Former first overall pick. There's a lot of them. Ah, uh, this is if you think about it, there's one that I think the team that he's on might be willing to let him go. And he's got a he's got a favorable deal. He's got a deal that we 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 could really work with. You talking about what's his face from the, the Kraken? No. Okay. No. No, it is not Eastern Conference, it's Western Conference. It's not Shane him. Wright. It's not Shane Wright. All right. All right. Wright wasn't a number one overall pick. He got picked fourth. Okay. I thought, I just thought you said for, uh, one rap first round. No. I didn't hear number one. Number, f- number one overall pick. First overall pick. And, and the game's about to come on. So uh, it's already on in my side. Okay. Oh, then I'm behind a little bit. I need to refresh to be fresh, huh? Pop drop just happened. So let me do a quick refresh to be fresh. I can't believe you you're not getting this. I I really I like, I thought you would have gotten it. The blues are getting a penalty, sods going into the box. Damn it. Didn't need that. Uh I'm refreshing right now. Now I now I know you're not thinking P P R V because nope. I think he was a second. Nope. And I, I just seen the hook there. Uh, and and it was a it was a good call. It Slide. was a hook. Yeah. Right. Slashing. No, um Taylor Hall. I think you can get Taylor Hall, uh, and I know he just had knee surgery, but he had it early in the year. Um, Chicago, especially with the way their season went this year, I think they'd be willing to to let him go 
and and you could get a favorable deal. You could get them to retain some salary on, and I think he's got two or three years left. And, and you put a guy like him with all our young guys, and then some of the speed we have. I think that just would. I think that would work. And that's a guy you could get for for cheap. You know, you 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 could get him cheap. You could uh, work things around. I, I know he has some issues, but so if, is if, if, if he's healthy. He could make our bottom six much better. Absolutely. Ouch. Ah, I hit the wrong button again. Yeah, I'm like, why are you cheering, guy? Yeah, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Are, are you a closet um, um, Nashville fan? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Thought it was my on one on one on my thing. It has different pages. On one page, that's a yeah. blue. On another page, it's a yeah. Cheer. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that was a good power play goal. Oh, wow, Tom. Oh, wow, that just beat him five hole. I think Thomas slowed it down enough because Thomas had a stick right there. Wow. Nothing this is, do about this it. is why I say penalties at the end of periods and at the beginning of periods, the end of periods kill, you. kill you. Yep. Well, Saad, you need to go down there and tie this up again. Make it quick. So Every far, time I look up, guys, the same guys have been on the ice for all the goals. Yep. With the exception, with the exception of neighbors and uh, one other for, for a uh, couple other for Nashville, for the Blues, the same guys have been on the ice for all the goals, with the exception of neighbors on that penalty kill. Right. Yep. Wait, I I I always thought all the goals were Kairos and Krug's fault. Yeah, normally. <laughs> Normally, yeah. Well, come back and get a quick one. That would really slow them yeah. down, slow down the momentum. Yeah. I'm sorry, you outshot him twenty to twenty to in. Oh well, now we're going on the power play. Yep. Whistle violation. Yeah. So, uh, no, the first period, you outshot him 20 to 10. That's exactly what you needed to do, right? And, and both of these goals weren't on Bennington. They were damn good shots, right? Damn good shots. See if the, let's see if these guys can do something. The first power play was not bad. It did not look bad. They no, got it shots. Bad. They got shots. Right. Yeah, you can get opportunities against Nashville on the power yeah. play. Oh, just wide. Kept it in though. Kyra needs to to skate with the puck more. That's one thing that that I think. That's one thing I think if he did more of that. Sure would, yeah. <laughs> Betty uses a Brower stick, yeah. <laughs> Should use a Sherwood stick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can entertain myself. Not well. <laughs> no, I, I think T Hall would be a good addition to the blues if you could i know people i know a lot of people don't don't see that but i see something different in this team and, and a lot of things now i talked about it at the first intermission i don't know if you heard it i was not surprised you know how i think you know how i think right yep when i say to you i thought before after after before he made the announcement that i thought he was not coming do you believe that that's what i'm that that that's what my thought process was even though i didn't say it out loud yeah right the way he lost just told me something was not going mm -hmm. right uh you're you're home in one piece there with the tornadoes and all that stuff i don't think any st louis has hit had any hit yet have they uh there was one in maryland heights oh really when um yesterday or two days ago but it wasn't very serious okay because that's where i live that's where yeah. I'm from. That's it, where my it, parents it, live. It caused some damage, but it wasn't like 
you know, billions of dollars of damage or anything yeah. like that. Oh, I didn't hear anything from parents. Hope they're okay. Because they had one hit their house a few years back. Uh huh. Actually, it hit their house. It hit the. It tore up some trees in the front yard. Mm. Man, well, Butch Navy had a nice opportunity there and let the putt get away from him. Yeah, that that's that's one thing. Whoever, whatever coach we get that comes in, has got to change this the the stick handling and the puck handling. That's got to get worked on. Now there was a shorthanded chance for Nashville. Oh, side with a nice little shot there. Seven seconds to go. Let's see if we can uh, do something as before it expires. Hurry up, guys. Well, it's over. It's over. You can't pass the puck in front of the oh, net like that. Core. Hit Creef Core. Yes. Uh, did it hit Creef Core Park? Is that what it hit? It, I, I don't know. I've, I've, Maryland I, Heights. Yeah, I, I just saw a real quick blip on the news. I wonder if it hit Creef Corps Park. That I could see. Because that's Creef Corps Park is part of Maryland Heights. Mm -hmm. Oh, good save. I, you know, like, like what's said earlier, you know, getting somebody, uh, Darkness said, you know, getting somebody on a one or two year, that just scares me. I'd rather trade for somebody that's got a couple of years left that someone would be willing to work. And not only that, Chicago's got so much money, they would eat half a salary. They would eat half a salary without even thinking twice about it. I would think they I would think they would. Not even it, thinking twice about it. It's not like he's making eight million dollars a year. He's not making No, that I much. I don't know what he's making, and I'll look it up here real quick. I'm thinking um, between, th if I remember, it was th something like three, five. No, I think it was closer to five. I, th I think it might have been closer to five, but uh, they have they they have ten million dollars of projected cap space right now, right? And, and they're going to have more. And oh, but they got lots of draft. Well, they got a lot of. They've got a lot. They did really good from their third round up in the next three years. They are stacked. They are stacked. Like I said, you collect, you want picks round, you know, five, four and higher. Mm -hmm. They've got like almost nothing round four, five, and seven. Four, five, yeah. six, four, five, and seven. Six, they got some, but they, they've got rid of a lot of picks there. Um, Hold on a sec, because I know he's on LTIR. Six mil, right? Six mil for two more, for this year and next year. He's only got one year left. Oh, wow. You know what? Absolutely. I would absolutely, I would go to them and see what they'd want. You know, you know who I trade? I, and people are probably going to get mad at me with this one. There's somebody that I would trade for Hall that I think you could, you could get that, that they would do. And they don't probably do it straight up. There's a, our third, our, our defenseman in the first round, Lindstrom, I think it was the defenseman we took. In the in the first round last season, you know of our three picks. Yeah, I don't think the Blues want to get rid of him. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I you know maybe Bull Duke. I don't know that they may like, but um, I I think that that might. Oh, Ky oh, who was that? It wasn't Cairo. Torpachinko just missed. Damn my. Oh, kept that in. Oh, Saros just playing on his, standing on his head tonight. That would hurt. Still got, keep this going. Ah, oh, missed it. Just should have taken a shot. That was, that was a pass he shouldn't have made. Well, I'm not sure where, where our shots at. Twenty-four to thirteen, the uh, four to three this period in favor of the Blues. So it's a lot closer than it was in the other period in the in the yep. first period. But yep. 
We had an F1 tornado hit close to Springfield out by uh, Bear Grove, Missouri. Not much damage. Not an F1. It was an F1. Oh, F1's the lowest one, right? F1's the lowest. F5 yeah. is the hardest. Hardest, yeah. Well, I hear my oven beeping upstairs. I've got enchiladas in it, so I'm going to go eat, and then I'll get back okay. on later. See you, bud. Thanks, bud. Bye, man. Ah, oh, cap there. No, I do not. No, I do not. Because because you weren't keeping Petro to begin with. That's the thing, right? Even even if you even if you caved in, even if you caved in and gave him everything he wanted, I think he would have wanted something else. I, I think that he put something there that he knew you would never. Oh, Torp just missed. Oh, wow. Just there. Just a little quicker. I, I think with, with Petrangelo that um, even if he, he put something in, he put something in his offer that there was no way you were going to accept, so you couldn't accept it. And, and I think if you to come back and told him, okay, we'll take everything, we'll accept everything, he would have come back and said, you know what? I, I think I want something else. I, I think he would have said. Uh, no, it started unraveling before that. And, and, and when you say that, don't forget in between all of that, him leaving, we had a 104 point season. A 109 point season where we took to the second round. And if it wasn't for an injury, we could have gone further. So I, I, I think a lot of people forget that in there, that, that, that without Petrangelo, this team still went further than Petrangelo did at one point. Because I think they missed that year that we went to the second round. They missed the playoffs. Right? So I'm not as dumb as everyone says I am in the groups. <laughs> Down two to one. Shots are 26 to 13 in favor of St. Louis. They are still, they're doubling them up again. So keep firing. They got to keep firing. I think that they're going to beat Soros. I really do. Just got to keep this going. And you cannot give them, you cannot give them the loser point. You got to, you got to beat them up straight up. That that is the season for me. That's the season where you can. This is why. And Bob, I know, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I'm gonna beat it a little bit. Smack, smack, smack. I know that you put a lot on the players, not the coach. However, because of the coaching change that happened in that season, and I'm talking about an assistant coach that was in charge of the offense leaving the next season and the collapse afterwards. That's why I put so much on coaching. That right there is why I put so much on coaching that I, that I do. Uh oh. And especially the fact that this team is fighting for a playoff spot when they were 10th worst last season. And in all actuality, it's the same team. It's the same team. After all the trades, this is the same team. I mean, who on this team did we add this year? Nobody, really. Hayes. That's it. That's the only different player on this team. Hayes. Hayes. That's it. Everybody else was on this team last year at the end of the season. They had 80, uh, 81 points last season. They were one point short of being 500. 
they're already you know above that and and not only that they're they're higher in the standings they're seven spots higher in the standings they're trying they're trying for the rebound that's what they're trying for Ah, uh, I disagree with that. I think a sniper is born a sniper. Oh, crew couldn't handle that if he handles that. Oh, neighbors, nice steal there. Nice pickup. Way to go, Tucker. Good pinch. Oh, that wasn't Tucker. I'm sorry. That was Kessel. Oh, wide shot. Oh, if that had caught Torp. The difference in this game is two fluke goals. Well, I mean, I don't want to say fluke, but, you know, two perfect goals. Yeah, I agree, man. I, I, I really do agree. I think we could do something. If we sneak in, it would be so fun to see how how all the haters react. Especially if we could win around it. We could knock off a big guy. Right? Knock off a Vancouver or knock off a a Dallas in the first round. Oh no, we got a Matlow sighting. I gotta get some ice, guys. I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> yep. Uh Oops, spilling on my phone. Yeah, I agree with you there, bud. Absolutely, it will uh, control the play, and they just need to get one in. Zucker just missed Barry, making it a two-goal lead.
finally demoted Shen, man. That was so needed. Got to get more zone time. I mean, they got a lot of it, but they got to make it work. You know, uh, what neighbors is in good health. Oh, neighbor is good at hacking and whacking in front of. Yeah, he is. Absolutely. That's his bread and butter. Dante's going off. Uh, sorry guys, just trying to figure something out here real quick. Oh, another power play coming up. Ah, uh, been pretty good actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna work the midnight shift tonight. Midnight to eight. Dinner's been freaking fantastic. Mm. Ah. Kyrie, go skate in that open area over there. Kyrie's got to skate in that in that open area. He hasn't been doing it. Oh wow, that was a hell of a shorthanded opportunity for the Preds. Yeah, well, it's you can't. It's kind of illegal. Besides, I don't have any stories. I have nothing. All mine are, are you know, vanilla. Uh, all mine are vanilla. I had one, one couple that that kind of got raunchy. Not in in their in their talk. They kept 
trying to outgross me. And, and I just, I almost kicked them out because it was getting pretty bad, but they had a short, pretty much a short trip. Uh, this was a long time ago. This was last year, a couple I had in my car. Oh, got something on net. Just got to get that. No, I was looking at something on my phone. I apologize. Kyra needs to shoot more. Um, he's got three shots on net already. Saad's got five. And he's got six attempts. Oh, neighbor. Now, neighbor should have shot that. They had a great opportunity. Oh! Oh! Yeah, sometimes. I'll agree with your heart, Jeff. Oh, wow. Kairu got hit hard. Another power play. Oh, he's going to the back room. Oh, I think it should be. Thirty two shots already. Wow. Oh, that's a five. Elbow to the head. That is a five. Uh, I don't know if I could find that. That's something that might be, I might be able to look up, you know, uh, and, and you, you would get a percentage and I'm sure that the percentage is low on odd man rushes. I'm saying that an overall percentage is less than 12%, but I don't know. Right. Yeah, that hit, that's a five. That's an absolute five. Yeah, well, I look intentionally me. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm with you. I think that that was. No body contact at all. Yeah, that was straight to the elbow to the head. Beat up his brother for that. I'll agree with you, Eliza. So they called it a five, and that means they can review it and look down. I think that they should be able, if, if they call it two, you should be able to review it to go up. I don't think you should just be able to review it to go down. You should be able to review it either way, up or down. That's the way I think about it. Right now it's listed as a five, but they're reviewing it, so we don't know. Still under review.
Sorry, guys. I'm running into some. Um, it can be. It can be. Oh, they dropped it to a boarding. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I was right. That's. Bullshit. 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 Kyrie's back on the bench, though. Son of a bitch. Nothing malicious, my ass. Yeah, I seen that. Possible. Got to win them all, though. Got to win them all. I hope so. Come on, keep it up. Yeah, they did. that's what they said that he was in a uh that he that he was falling to the ice. That he didn't think it was malicious. But I, okay, yeah, great. I thought it was. He's not hurt though. That's the thing and I think that that's why I can accept the two. Look at him. They're they're not pulling Nashville out of the out of the diamond. That yeah, they're not pulling Nashville. They got to pull Nashville out of that diamond to open up the lanes. Oh man, they're 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 doing what they need to do. Oh man, they finally got it out. I don't think Thomas is falling off hard. God, the 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 pressure's there, right? I, I mean, they don't score, but the pressure is there. Oh, Torp, Torp's going to the box. We're going on a we're going on a penalty kill. Torp's going to the box. Yeah, I seen that. Got to get that. Sh we haven't had a shorty for a while. We need that shorty. I'm refreshing to be fresh here. I'm not sure how far, if I was behind or not. My internet's been messed up a little bit. Yeah, I was behind. Got to kill this. Big time kill. Trying to. I reset. Oh, but maybe they got a twig. There we go. Cleared it. Now Bush can get a stick. 
I disagree, Gina. I, I, I disagree with that. They have 35 shots. They have more shots this in two periods than they think they've had all, in a game all year. Damn it. Oh, man, a breakdown there. Ouch. Two power play goals. Oh, no, the first one was... uh... No, no, that was even strength. No, that should have been a power play, shouldn't it? That hurt. Oh, I got to get it back. I got faith. As George Michael used to say, gotta have faith, faith, faith. Gotta have faith, faith, faith. Oh man, Dante's Inferno's going off. Right, uh, they're listing that as an even strength. I thought that that should have been a power play. That really should have been a power play. So it's not over till it's over. I agree. Um, just keep fighting. Keep fighting. You know, you got to get one to get two. So you, you go in there and get that one. And you're, wow, I, I mean, you look at this, right? The Blues have 36 shots. They outshot them 16 to 10. Okay. What does that mean? Hold on. Overall, overall, the Blues have, and I, I, I'm probably going to mess this up. Uh, Let's see. It's, it's, oh man, I suck at math. I, I'm, I'm trying to add this up in my head and it's not working. Give me a second. So they have 64 attempts and 35 shots. More than half of their shots are hit, getting on net. Uh, Nashville. has 41 attempts with only 20 getting on net. You know, I know they got three goals. I get it. They, 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 they and, and two of their goals have come from in front of the net, right? And one was a great shot, but... <laughs> yes, we need goals. Uh, I agree. But you got you to score one to get two, and you got to score uh, one to get three, all right? So uh, I, I just I think that the Blues are playing well. It's just not going our way. It's one of them games, but hopefully we can flip it around. Uh, hits eighteen to fourteen, favor of the Blues. Giveaways. Nashville's giving away eleven times. Blues giving away three. Blues are taking away twice. Nashville's taking away twice. Blues have blocked fourteen shots. Nashville's blocked fifteen. Faceoffs are split up nineteen apiece, fifty percent. Active active period. Uh, Nashville ends up scoring two goals in that period. At 113 mark, Philip Forsberg on the power play gets his 42nd of the season from Nyquist and O'Reilly. Um, that was on a penalty from Brandon Saad. 
Uh, right, slashing at the 32nd mark. Uh, in the second, the Blues were on the power play three times and went 0 for 3. They are 0 for 4 overall. Sherwood at 137, right after the, the sod, the uh, Forsberg goal. Carrier at 12.09 for high sticking. 16.11, Shen gets the controversial boarding. I'm okay with it now. Um, Torpachinko, right after that ends, gets a roughing, and we pay as Boulevard gets his fifth goal, first with the Preds from Nyquist and Evangelista. I, I disagree, Gina. The fact that you're getting pucks on net, that's a, now you're, you're 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 challenging the goalie. If you keep challenging the goalie, you're going to get him in. Just gotta you just gotta fire pucks and hopefully you know one finds its way in. Gotta keep doing it. We just need it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you, Gina. I get what you're saying. I got gotcha. you. I want more. Reminds me of that, uh, the movie, um, Cyrano. I'm not disgusted at this game. Yeah, I'm not mad at all. I, I, it's, they're playing what we need them to play. You know, it's just chips aren't falling where they may. You know, you make your own putt luck, so make some putt luck. I agree, Gina. They got to come out in the third and, and play like like there's no tomorrow. They got to come out in the third and play like there's no tomorrow. Absolutely. Play smart, but play with no abandon. Well, I mean, when you got all the shots, I think they are buzzing. I think that 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 it's. I I think that they need to go back to playing smart. They need to play some smart hockey. I think they are buzzing, uh, and and, and just keep playing smart hockey, and you're gonna get you're gonna get these goals. Right? Don't give up anymore. Play smart hockey. Because we don't have a good one time. That's the one thing. That's the thing that when people ask me, what is the one thing that the Blues need? It's a one-time shot. We don't have it. We don't have a good one-time shot. When we lost Perron, we lost that one-time shot. Between Perron and O'Reilly, we lost the one-time shot. We don't have one. We really don't have a good one. If we had a good one, we we would be in the playoffs right now. I, I absolutely believe that.
Yeah. Excuse me. I know, I know. I got to clean my pop filter. I think it's got some dust in it because I'm getting my nose all itchy now. I have another one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. I may have to look for it. Uh. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Time to fly. I'm with you. I want more. Why? I mean, it's a. They're playing hard. I, 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 that's the thing. You you always expect them to win, and, and when you do that, when you you miss, how good a loss can be. That's why I always say there's good wins and there's bad wins, and there's good losses and there's bad losses. And, and I'm seeing this, and I don't think it's unbearable. I, I see a str- I see a team that's got as many shots this period as, in, in two periods as they've had all year. You know that this is they're they're going to set a record for shots more than likely. If you come out and you keep playing hard like this, Nashville's got to go into a defensive mode, and you're going to get it. I know there's no time for losses, but you're still. They're playing that type of hockey. This is just because they're losing doesn't mean they're playing losing hockey. That's what I'm trying to get. That's what I'm trying to get at, Tommy. We we have 36 shots on net. We need them to go in. We have more shots on net this game than we've had any game all season. I don't think we've had this many shots in any game all season. Yeah, no, we should have three or four goals. Soros has played great. That's what's being missed. Soros has played great. We should have goals. We have a lot of high danger shots. Ah. And the Panthers just look so hot this year. I 
I think I think Tereshenko is going to get another ring. Not sure what you mean by the T. Doesn't matter, man. Last year, Florida didn't have it either, and and and, and they went all the way to the finals. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. If we face Dallas, I think we can beat Dallas. I think we could beat Vancouver. I think we could beat both of them in a seven game series. Uh, hi, Jason. I know Gina loves me, but I'm disagreeing with her right now. Greg Burrow and Gary Tech at John Hefner, Jim Brand, Aaron Culture, Dole Butler, Michael Edwards, Jason Nichols, Z Guido, Aaron Culture, Gina McMillan. Thank you, John Penner, Erickson Krieger, Michael Edwards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I I think we we could be. It, that's the thing. The two teams at the the top. We put the way we play the top teams in the league. I think the Blues are dangerous, man. I really do. They can sneak in. I think they'll be dangerous. They're not a team that you look past. I disagree. I disagree. Yes, you are. I mean, we were behind. We were behind to the Oilers and came back behind twice and came back and ended up winning that game. So, 
I'm hopeful. Here we go. Let's get this. Four, three, St. Louis. Yep. When they talk about shot blocking, the Blues have blocked as many shots as, 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 as they have. Oh, that should have been called. Kings aren't playing yet. Kings play uh, in about a half hour. We block more shots than they have, actually. Or no, the other way around. We block 14, they block 17. So with three more. Chucky, that 90-89, you were looking at 89 for the Rangers, or for the Kings. I was looking at 90 for the Predators. That's what that's the difference there. Not completely with you there. They're, they're playing a defensive brand of hockey, and we just got to break through it.
I'll agree with you that that was done a dangerous shot. High danger shots are shots in the house. Draw a line from each goalpost out to the center of the circle, then bring the uh, circle up to the top of the uh, the dot, center of the dot, then draw that line straight up to the top of the circle and come over. That's where high danger chances are considered in that area. Ouch, now we're done. That sucked. Oh, that sucked. Ouch. Oh, big turnover there. Ouch. They're not happy now. That there's no way he could have saved that. I mean, he got a piece of it. Ouch. Yeah, this is tough. I agree, Gina. This is... Yep, Jason, I'll agree with you on that one. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely agree with you there. I don't think one of those shots is one that Bennington would, would want back. I, I mean, well, they want them all back, but, like, it was, oh, my God, I screwed that one up. Just get one. Uh, ooh, excuse me. That five-minute major getting changed to a two-minute minor really, really helped Nashville. 
Three on one. We're done. Oh, wow. Bennington helped us there. Scores! Oh, man, I can't hit the button. There we go. Great shot. There we go. There's one. Let's get the next one. David! David, I need to talk to you. Give me, uh, can I call you later after the game? Hey, just turned 22. I love Torpachinko. Uh, we might. I don't know. We might. David, check your phone. I don't know. I didn't see. I I, I got to pay it again. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one there, Gina. They got him for slashing, so I didn't see the whole play. I'd have to look at it again, Eliza. Excuse me. Oh, 
Oh, four on four. There we go. Thomas is my captain. Thomas is my captain. And yes, we do need hungry young talent. But Thomas is my captain. Let's get another one. No, I don't see Bannister doing that. Pulling, giving that. No, I don't see Bannister doing that. That's I. That's the way I felt. Ah. Here we go. Four on four. They pulled the goalie. Holy shit. Boy, was I wrong. I did not see this happening. This is, wow. It works great, but. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you can't headbutt the puck in. Yeah, that would not have counted. Twenty nine seconds left. This scares me, man. Absolutely scares me right now. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh, man. Just when you need things are going the wrong way. Two of our best players in the box. Not what you need when you're down by two.
What do you mean most of our wins are regulation wins? Okay, they're back on. We're, we're on a five on four. Oh, come on, Thomas. Great play on Falk there. Oh, physical, physical game. That is probably true. I don't know what it is, but it might be true. I'm clicking away. They're not pulling Bennington until the five minute mark. Yeah, he has he has been pretty well invisible. Denied by Bennington. Ah, that's why you can't pull Bennington. You got to keep that puck down there. Pareko kept it in. Good play, Pareko.
Shots are 10 to 8 for the Blues this period, 44 to 28 for the game. Special teams was the difference so far. Actually, they've been sucking most of the night, to be honest with you. Hey, AC, see your text messages. Four fifty three. Nashville's doing a great job of, of playing uh prevent offense. Hard to tie it when you're down by two. I don't know, Eliza. Not a lot of people watched them. Maybe I'll get back into it. We'll see. Head empty. Don't give this up. Let's get one. Ah, oh, here it goes. We're done. There, it's over. Nope. Wow, we got lucky there. Yep, they are.
That was a great hit. Oh, that's delay a game. That was delay a game. That should have been delay a game. Let him get the puck. There we go. Another penalty. That's what you needed. 2.30 to go. You got chances. Is on for tripping again. Oh, shots, man. Forty six. Forty six to twenty nine. Um, twenty, fourteen, and twelve so far. Just Soros has played great. He's gonna be a star of the game, even giving up two goals. Unless the blues can can do something else here. Uh Blue so far have an empty net total of 3 minutes and 14 seconds in this game. I will agree. We probably should have, Gina. Soros just played out, stood on his head. I'll agree with that. I should have had two power play goals. Been a good game. I, I'm sorry. I think it's been a good game. And, you know, they're playing hard. And Nashville's a good team. Cairo! 2.14 to go. One goal game. Ah, I lost the game. There's still time. There's still time. Got it, got it, got to keep pushing. Another empty net. 
Ah, we're done. There it is. Ouch. Didn't take long for them to end it. 5-3. That'll be the final. Ouch. Ouch. Well, we needed it. We didn't get it. I mean, the playoffs aren't over yet. I mean, maybe the Sharks will help us out tonight. I doubt it. Um... Right? Let, let's see. Needed this win, didn't get it. I don't know what else to say, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to call it here since the game's basically over. Uh, I'm going to go drive at midnight tonight, which is like 5 a.m. your time. No, they're not. No, they are not. They are not eliminated from playoff contention. They are not, so don't sit there and say that. They still have a chance. It depends on what happens tonight. Oh, nailed him in the face. We're not, I mean, we're basically done, but there's still a chance. Mathematically, they're still alive, and that's all that matters. Mathematically, they're still alive, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, it's over. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't know about this weekend. We'll see. Right? Look for me. I don't know. Maybe Sunday. I'm not sure about Saturday. Love y'all. Have a good one. Bye now.